So I was about to go ahead and <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I was gonna go ahead and take a nap, but then I realized I saw a thumbnail by the truth last night before I was about to go to sleep on STR Vegito and Boo Tanks Easy A's. Hmm, these two fuckers are getting Easy A's. Wow. All right. So without further ado. I gotta get up, and as you guys can see, I gotta farm it, of course. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So, let's take a look at Vegito, because Vegito is obviously, you know, we we love Vegito more than, than Boo Tanks. I mean, Buhan, pretty pretty much, but let's see what Vegito is looking like. So, in the Goku and Vegeta form, or just not form, or just part of the card. So for Goku and Vegeta, uh, new leader skill, Battle of Wits, Majin Buu Saga, 3 key, won 80% across the board from the previous, of course, old-ass leader skill. Uh, okay, they also stack defense on their 12 key and gained 50% attack for one turn. All right. They stack defense on their 18 key and, of course, gain 50% attack for one turn. Okay, so basically their 12 and 18 key super attack effects are essentially the same. Okay. Uh, they start out with two key, 200% attack and defense baseline. They have 30% damage reduction unrestricted. They are keeper keys to retain, of course. They also have additional super attack chance. They launch additional attack that has a 70% chance to come a super attack, which is nice because they're stacking defense on top of their 30% damage reduction. Um, they also have a 30% chance to crit. They didn't have that in their pre-EZA, right? No, they didn't. They just had the 30% chance of doing an additional super. Okay. So they have a just unrestricted 30% chance to crit. Cool. Uh, they also get 50% attack and defense. Let me go ahead and just highlight that a little better. They get 50% attack and defense, and they launch a guaranteed super attack upon character's entry once only, or if HP 77% or more. Interesting. So, yeah, because this once only is split apart from the uh, HP restriction. All right, so if they're above the HP threshold... Um, granted, either the f for that first turn, they're going to be getting an additional 50% attack of defense and a guaranteed super, which is very nice because they stack defense. So this character can do up to, give or take, four super attacks if you get lucky. Of course, the first super attack, the two super attacks from one, this unrestricted additional super attack chance. And, uh, yeah, that's the second super. And then the third super will come from this right over here. That's nice. Considering the fact that they have a 30% damage reduction and a stack in defense. They can do up to four supers. That's nice. Certainly. Uh, they also get an additional 20% chance to crit with 20% damage reduction if... No, when attacking, when HP is 50% or more. That's very good. Wow. So, they can have up to 50% damage reduction and a 50% chance to crit. That's really nice. Yeah. They're stacking defense. They can do up to four supers plus... And they have 50% damage reduction with a 50% chance to crit. That's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's all right. This card is... Wow. The ninth year for easy A's have just been ridiculous. I, the ninth year anniversary, just the best easy A's. Like, what, what do I even say? None of these easy A's... Can I take a look at what the ninth year's... Can we take a look at it? Let's go over to, uh, let's get, what do I go to? I completely forgot. Timelines. Let's get complete Japanese timeline. Did the Dokkan Wiki update it? Did they, did they put the ninth year? No, they didn't. Damn. Okay. So I guess we could just pull it up by celebration now. Let's go over to campaigns. Let's go to current Japan campaign. This isn't it. No, is it? What the hell? <laughs> this is this is definitely not it. Uh, I know there's a better way for me to pull this up. I think it's just we could just do it right here. Yeah, this is for Japan, right? We could just do just look at it right here. So at the start, let me just let it go ahead and load real quick. At the start, we had who is this? Who is this? <laughs> um. What's that, STRUI? That is STRUI. For some reason, it's not loading. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page real quick. 
think it's not loaded for some reason. So yeah, we had STRUI's Easy A, amazing. We have uh, another Easy A, Broly Chain Lemos Easy A, amazing. We have uh, Evo Ken Easy A, amazing. Uh, who else do we have? I'm probably skipping over some because the Dokkan wiki is loading like molasses for me. We have both LREB and LRUI's Easy A's. Amazing. And now we have both of these guys' Easy A's who I'm going to assume when I read Buhan, Buhan's going to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, this space form is very, very powerful. And of course, they have the very, very easy Patara Fusion. 77% or less. Start from the fourth turn for start of battle. Very easy. Clean. Just sweet. Just easy peasy lemon squeezy um so new super attack effects 12 key 50 percent attack gives one turn 18 key 50 percent attack gives one turn and seal so of course he has a good 12 slash 18 key super attack effect not really too much different for his you know the post fusion super attack effects because the only real difference is the 18 key super sealing but the thing is, is that they are a good 12 and 18 key super attack effects nonetheless fully recovers hp once only that's very good you just get a full heal out right Wow. Compared to his uh, his pre easy A, which was still good, him recovering 50% HP, that's still good. This this was still good at the time. And do keep in mind, no bosses were living a rotation with this guy on it. Back when he had first released. Now we'll put that out there. This guy was one of the strongest units in the game on release. A thousand percent. He really was. He was that ridiculous. Uh let me go over to Okay, so he guards for the first three turns. Very nice. He gets five key, 200%... No, he gets five key and 250% attack and defense and a 50% chance to crit. Just unrestricted. Okay. Uh, do keep in mind him being a counter unit, having that 50% chance to crit, his... Wow. How much damage is he going to do on counters? <laughs> um, he also gets an additional 20% chance to crit within the same turn for every attack performed interesting gets additional crit chance within the same turn for every attack performed i like how they worded it with every attack dokkan is cooking with this when they word i love this absolutely love this uh okay so he gets additional 30 percent attack within the same time to receiving an attack so of course his counters are going to be hitting like a a mac truck uh and he has 30% damage reduction, and he gets additional 30% damage reduction when receiving normal attacks. <laughs> um, so on normals, let's just, oh, you know, let, let's finish reading the card. All right, so he counters normals with tremendous power, of course, because he's Vegito. Uh, he's two key per keys retained. And he gets 77% attack and defense and foresees enemy super attacks for 10 turns from the start of turn, of course, post-fusion. Um, so, out the gate, right? Do keep in mind, when you use their fusion, you win. What a surprise. <laughs> what, what a surprise. Um, on the defensive end, we're guarding. Of course, let's say you're... Post fusion, first turn. We're guarding for the first three turns. We get up to 60% damage reduction when you're taking normals and 30% damage reduction why, when you're taking a super attack because this additional 30% damage reduction is only for taking normals. So that's very good. I will say that all right. Uh, he's two key per keys to obtained. He is getting additional attack and defense and foreseeing super attacks for 10 turns. So he can foresee super attacks. He can get up to 60% damage reduction when tanking normals and 30% damage reduction if he's taking a super attack. Still very good because you still have that guard within those first three turns. He's ridiculous. Bro. He has a full heal. Essentially, he has a sensu bean in his fucking passive. He has a full heal. He can foresee super attacks. He's two keeper keys to obtain. He can get up to 60% damage reduction for normal attacks and 30% damage reduction for taking super attacks. Um, he can get up to a 70% chance to crit plus. Better yet, because he gets additional crit chance. He's... What do I even say? <laughs> he's he's amazing! What a damn surprise. He's ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> he's... He's very, very strong. And Dokkan has been doing an outstanding job. 
outstanding job for the ninth year anniversary. Because as I've already said, STRUI is amazing. Uh, Broly Trio, amazing. Evo Ken, amazing. The uh, six year EZAs, amazing. And then STR Vegito's EZA, amazing. Let's take a look at Boot Tanks. Let's, let's just go ahead and assume that he's amazing. He has to be good. <laughs> this is important. This guy has to be good, if not better than Vegito. He has to be very good because this is a boo unit. It, it's very pivotal that this guy is good. God, I hope he's good. I haven't read his details yet, but let's see. So he's power absorption or Majin power four key one apes across the board. Of course, as of all these leader skills, these, these, of course, these units that get these easy A's, like for example, these worldwide down celebration at large that got their easy A's, they get their, he gets four key and one 80% across the board, but he gets three key one apes across the board. Not a big deal, but still that's something noteworthy. Anyways, he greatly stacks attack and gains 50% defense for one turn on his 12 key and on his 18 key, he greatly stacks defense against 50% attack for one turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, he's greatly stacking. That's very nice. He has a strong 12 and 8 key super attack effects. He really does. I'm very happy that they made him greatly stack. Very happy. And this works out so well because when he's going to get his additional supers off, he's going to be greatly stacking attack and gaining 50% defense one turn. This is very good. This is very, very, very good. I'm a big fan of how they went about his design for a super attack fix. I love it. He recovers 20% HP at the start of turn, which is, I would argue, a strong ability. Recovering HP can come up very clutch. It could. It definitely could. You could be in a bit of a weird situation where a unit gets tagged by a super attack, like through an item for whatever reason. That's just a random scenario I decided to come up with. A unit gets tagged by a super attack that you, did, you didn't want them to get hit by a super attack with. And you're sitting at a like a low amount of HP and then he comes back on turn, he recovers HP for you. This could come up clutch. All right, so two key and 200% attack and defense baseline, very nice. He has a 70% chance to guard. Ooh, okay. I don't like guard chance. I don't like guard chance, but let me keep reading. He also has a 30% chance to dodge, okay? And he is two keeper keys to retain. Very nice. Is he two keeper keys to retain is pretty easy? Yeah, he's not. He's pretty easy. Yeah, he is keeper keys to retain, but post easy. Yeah, he's two keeper keys to retain, okay? He also launches a guaranteed super attack. Very nice. I'm glad they gave that to him. That's a very strong ability. Uh, he also gets an additional 50% attack and defense and guards all attacks for one turn from this character's entry turn or if HP is 90% or less time from turn. Okay, so they went about this guy's design. Interesting. So, guards all attacks for one turn? No, he go no, he doesn't guard all attacks for one turn. Yeah, he gets 50% attack and defense and he guards all attacks. No, it is for one turn. I completely overread that. I don't want to confuse myself. For one turn, okay, so when he first enters the battle, he has that guarantee guard for that one turn. Okay. Or if HP is 90% or less from the start of turn. Okay. He also gets an additional 20% chance to dodge, and he survives KO attacks up to once per turn. If HP is 80% or less when receiving an attack, he also recovers 12% HP if HP is 50% or less at the end of the turn. So... Hmm, a couple things to unpack here. So what I do like about what they did to this guy is the fact that they, they, they made him two keeper keys retained. That's very nice, considering his link set is not really that crazy. The second thing I like is that he can recover up to 32% HP when he comes back on turn. Because he recovers 20% HP right over here from start of turn and he recovers the additional 12% HP when your HP is 50% or less at the end of the turn. No, yeah. Yeah, he does. He, he can recover up to 32% HP. Gets the 20% here from the start of turn and the 12% here when HP is below that threshold. Yeah. So he can he literally can give you free HP for being below that HP threshold. Yeah, he's... This guy... He's good. I feel like I gotta see him in game, though. He's probably gonna be hitting like a fucking bomb in game. Oh my god. This guy, too... I gotta say it, the Goku and Vegeta have a better pre 
pre they have a better pre fusion than these guys because what are you taking are you taking f up to 50 percent damage reduction or they're stacking defense too yes they definitely do have a better pre transformation than this guy does certainly i would definitely say so yeah he also gets additional dodge chance and survives ko attacks up to once per turn that could come up clutch it could i don't like the guard chance I really don't. He can get up to a 50% chance to dodge, but you have to be below the HP threshold. He can get up to a 50% chance to dodge, have a 70% chance to guard. He also has that guard for that one turn when he first comes on turn. He's, he's good. He has a couple of things I don't like about him, but he's definitely good. I'm not even going to say he's bad. I think he's, he's good in this, this pre, hmm. Let's go ahead and see. Wait, did it change his requirements for his absorption conditions? Well, just transformation. They didn't. Okay, so same thing. Yeah. I'm not giving him enough credit. He's probably way better than I'm giving him credit for. He's good, though. He certainly is. All right, anyways. Buhan, what do you have for us? So, out the gate, you have a very powerful 12 and 18 key super attack effects. Oh my god. That's 50% attack and defense for 4 turns on his 12 key, and 50% attack and defense for, for 4 turns on his 18 key, and he seals. That's, that is, right? That is? Hold on, let me go. That's 2 and 2. That is, right? No, it's not. Okay, I'm lying. It's not, because the, the Dokkan Wiki explicitly says it right over here. Because, you know, I, I said it was 50% attack and defense for multiple turns, because, you know... Some older units have a, a similar super attack effect like this, but it's like for 50% attack defense to multiple turns. You guys get the gist. <laughs> that's for some of those older units. So that's why I assumed that it was what it was. Uh, Yeah, that's 30% attack and defense for four turns. Excuse the 50% attack and defense. That's very powerful. He has a strong 12 ATK super attack effect. Very, very powerful. Recovers 20% HP at the start of the turn, of course. 5 key and 200 and 50% attack and defense. Very nice. He also launches a guaranteed super for three turns from start turn. Okay. He also guards all attacks unrestricted. Love it. Uh, he also has a 50% chance to dodge unrestricted. We can stop reading this. We can stop reading right over here. Do keep in mind he's stacking this, this pre-transformation. This right over here. We stop right here. He's looking very strong. He's guarding with a 50% chance to dodge. <laughs> this fucking card is... Buhan is crazy. Not too high on Boo Tanks, though. I'm not giving him enough credit. But Buhan is ridiculous. And he also launches an additional super attack, just unrestricted. Like he does inside his pre-transformation. Very nice. Uh, keep Two keeper keys are obtained. 50% attack and defense. And disables enemy action within a turn when performing an 18 key super attack for 5 turns. He has disable enemy action built into his kit for five turns. Very nice. Wow, okay. 100% attack and defense starting from the sixth turn. So that's that's after you uh, you don't get the chance to disable enemy action. Yeah, okay, so that's that's good. He's getting additional 50% attack and defense already on top of that 50% attack and defense right over here. So that's up to 100% attack and defense on that sixth turn. Okay. Seals the enemies. Okay, so he seals the enemy for five turns, of course, like he does side so is pretty easy, eh? Right, that is correct. Yeah, it is. Uh, and he also gets 50% attack temporarily upon character's next attack if HP is 50% or more at the end of the turn or if HP is 50% or less. Okay. Buon's amazing. This is all I had to read. Like this. Once I saw this right over here. I, no, hold on. Let me highlight, highlight the guarantee super. This is ridiculous. Like this... All of this right over here. We see this, and this guy's just amazing. I, I literally, Buhan is amazing. Although Boo Tanks, not too high on. He's definitely good though. I'm not gonna say he's bad. I'm not gonna say he's bad. But both of these EZAs are fucking immaculate, insane. Just, oh my god. I think that's about it. Ninth year anniversary. The easy A's, if we're counting only the premium easy A's. The easy A's have been, have we gotten a TUR easy A? A, a Doe Confess TUR. You guys aren't Doe Confessed. 
I might I might overlook it. Okay, so no, your banner units. Uh, you're a summonable LR. No, you're a free to play. You're a, a premium unit. Uh, two free to plays. We didn't get a TUR easy to celebration. They went fucking bananas. This this anniversary is the best anniversary. And these easy A's, all premium easy A's, are good. <laughs> but I think that is about it. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Vegito and Boo Tanks, oh, excuse me, Vegito and fucking Buhan. Wow. I almost laid down and just took a nap before I did this. But I'll catch you guys next time. I love you all. Peace.